Sometimes instead of welding metal together, you want to cut it apart. And a great way to do that is a plasma cutter. And that's what I want to talk about today. So this is the Tomahawk 375 Air. The reason why they call it the 375 Air, it has a built-in air compressor, okay? So it'll cut quarter inch material with its own built-in air compressor. It'll cut 3 8 max with external air. So if you have a shop or a home and you have a compressor, or you have bottle compressed air, you can hook it up to the back and cut maximum 3 8 plate. But for demonstration purposes today, we're gonna run it with its own built-in compressor and it'll cut quarter inch max. Now, if you wanna cut material that's thicker, let's just say you're gonna cut half inch. You could step up to the Tomahawk 625. That machine will cut up to 5 8 material. And if you need to go thicker than that, like one inch, you could step up to the Tomahawk 1000. That machine will cut one inch material. You know, another neat thing about the Tomahawk 625 series of plasma cutters um, and the 1000 is um, you can actually hook those up to CNC tables. So if you're gonna do any CNC or repeatable work, the Tomahawk 625 and the Tomahawk 1000 are perfect machines for, for the uh, Torchmate 2x2 and the Torchmate 4x4 tables. And the thing about plasma is it'll cut anything that conducts electricity, steel and stainless and aluminum. So if it conducts electricity, plasma will cut it. That's the neat thing about plasma. The neat thing also about this machine is all the controls are right here in the front. No need to go inside the machine or the back of the machine to do anything. You adjust your air pressure in the front, you adjust your amperage setting, turn your compressor on and off, your gun connection and ground connections right here in the front. Nothing in the back, nothing to mess around with. Plasma has a bunch of safety features too, okay? And again, you're dealing with, with hot, hot gas, so you got to be careful. Uh, one of the safety features is this trigger guard, okay? This trigger guard prevents you from actually premature pulling the trigger. Also, Lincoln has a parts in place uh, device here where all the parts have to fit in the torch the right way. So if you, put, if you miss a part or you put something in wrong, the machine will not cut. Next thing you wanna do is adjust the machine. So again, based on the material that you're gonna cut, I know I'm gonna cut something around quarter inch or so, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the machine up to about 25 amps. Okay, now that I got the machine safe, okay, you've actually seen, I've got myself safe also. And the first thing I've done is I've actually put on my Lincoln Starlight number five glasses, okay? Unlike welding, it's not as bright as actual, actually welding, uh, plasma cutting. Is, is bright and there is a little bit of spark, so you wanna protect your eyes and your face. Number five, minimum shade. I've also protected my hair and the top of my head with my Lincoln do-rag, and I've also got my flame retardant Lincoln shirt on, again with my steel worker gloves. So I'm all protected, ready to make a cut. And before I do that, there's a couple things I wanna go over. Um, plasma cutting will actually tell you when you're going too fast or too slow. And one of the ways it tells you that is if you go way too fast, the sparks will come right towards you, back on you. You don't want that. You want the sparks and all the dross to go down on the floor. So if you're going the right speed, all the sparks and the dross will go on the floor, making the right cut. Remember, plasma will cut anything that conducts electricity. You can go left to right, right to left. It really doesn't matter. All right, we just made a cut as you saw. And remember, you want all the dross and all the sparks to go towards the floor, okay? Again, if you're going too fast, the sparks will come to you and it won't properly cut all the way through. So you wanna make sure all the sparks are going through the floor. Drop the piece off, you're ready to go. Remember, you can make circles, you can cut the corners, you can cut the whole piece, or you can use a guide. You can actually put a guide down, cut a straight line if you need a straight line, cut a triangle. Again, totally up to you. Because the plasma kerf is on an angle, okay, it actually cuts on an angle. As you get towards the end of your piece, you actually want to angle the torch back a little bit so you make sure you nip that edge off so you get an actual drop cut. If you don't, if you're too much at a 90, it may not cut that corner, it might just hang up there. Remember, never use the torch as a hammer. If it doesn't cut all the way through, take a hammer, knock the piece off. But again, if you come across, angle back a little bit as you get towards the end, it'll drop right off. And then what you're left with is a little bit of dross on the back. You either can take a, a, a small file or you can take another piece of material and actually knock some of that dross off if you need to. Again, a small file will work really well too. This is the 375 Air. Remember, we have the Tomahawk 625 and the Tomahawk 1000. If you want any more information on Lincoln Electric products, you can visit our website at www.lincolnelectric.com. <laughs>